policies can either make or break a country and its people. Hence, they should be thoroughly studied and evaluated. This is where policy research comes in. Through Malacanang Proclamation 247 in 2002, the government declared the month of September as Development Policy Research Month, or DPRM. The DPRM aims to promote nationwide awareness on the importance of policy research in the formulation of evidence-based policies, plans, and programs. It also aims to cultivate a strong culture of research and research use among decision makers and raise the public's literacy on socioeconomic issues. The proclamation also designated the Philippine Institute for Development Studies, or PIDS, to oversee and coordinate all activities related to the DPRM. Various activities such as policy forums, press conferences, social media promotion, and the annual public policy conference are organized by PIDS and its partners to celebrate the DPRM. Every year, the DPRM focuses on a particular theme, which is usually a current or an emerging development issue of national significance. For instance, the DPRM has centered on issues pertaining to regulations, risk reduction and management, decentralization, the fourth industrial revolution, and the new globalization. This year, in response to what is happening globally and locally, the DPRM is focusing on the theme, Bouncing Back Together, Innovating Governance for the New Normal. Through this theme, we hope to help in channeling our collective resolve as a nation toward moving forward from the adverse impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. For us to bounce back from this crisis, we must innovate governance across all sectors of society to steer the country toward the path of renewed growth and dynamism. A whole-of-society approach is crucial with the government taking the lead and engaging all stakeholders, including the private sector, academia, civil society, and local communities, to innovate and reconfigure their strategies, structures, and processes. To adapt to the new normal, which entails a new way of working, learning, and interacting with one another, public and private sectors need to invest in digital education, e-commerce, e-finance, e-health, and other innovative ways of delivering services. At the same time, the government should ramp up its social protection system to assist the most vulnerable sectors seriously affected by increasing unemployment and loss of income. As individual citizens, we also have a role to play in helping the country bounce back in the new normal. We should be innovative, adaptive, and agile in the face of adversity and change. By shifting to a new brand of governance that is agile and innovative, we can beat this crisis. Visit the DPRM website for more information.